Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is x plus 5 to the power of 6. This is equal to 5 to the power of 6. So, what are the values of x? Let's provide a solution from here. So now we have x plus 5 raised to the power of 6. This is equal to 5 to the power of 6. So the first step to do here, let's take 5 to the power of 6 on the left hand side. So that now here we have x plus 5 raised to the power of 6. Subtract 5 to the power of 6. This is equal to 0. Now, we can express x plus 5 to the power of 6 as x plus 5 raised to the power of 3, then raised to the power of 2, subtract 5 to the power of 6, which you can express as 5 to the power of 3, then raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. This equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared. This is actually equal to a plus b, a minus b. This is the difference of two squares. So this implies that a is equal to x plus 5 to the power of 3, and that b is equal to 5 to the power of 3. So this implies that a plus b equal to 0. This is the same thing as x plus 5 raised to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. And that a minus b equal to 0, this is the same thing as x plus 5 raised to the power of 3, subtract 5 to the power of 3, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. So let's start with equation 1. We can call this case 1. Now, in case 1, we have x plus 5 raised to the power of 3, then plus 5 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. Now, you find that this is the sum of 2. This equation is in the form of a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. This is the sum of 2 cubes, which we can express as a plus b multiplying by a squared minus a b then plus b squared and this implies that applying this identity then we have x plus 5 plus 5 then here we have x plus 5 raised to the power of 2 minus 5 multiplying by x plus 5 then plus 5 squared, which is 25. This is equal to 0. Now here we have x plus 5 plus 5. This is plus 10. We have x plus 10. Into the other parentheses here. This is x plus 5 to the power of 2, which is the same thing as x squared. Then plus, here we have 10x. Then plus 5 squared, which is 25 subtract 5 times x which is 5x then minus 5 times plus 5 this is minus 25 then plus 25 this is equal to 0 so therefore here we have x plus 10 into the parentheses here we have x squared then we have 10x minus 5x this is plus 5x now, here we have minus 25 plus 25. This simplifies. So here we have plus 25. This is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is x plus 10. This is equal to 0. And the second part here is x squared plus 5x plus 25. This is equal to 0. Now, from the first part here, we have that x1 is equal to minus 10. x1 is equal to minus 10, which is a real solution. 
Now let's determine the other values of x from this quadratic equation. From this quadratic equation, we have a equal to 1, b equal to 5, and that c is equal to 25. So we can solve for the value of x2, comma x3, by applying the quadratic formula, which is minus b, plus or minus the square root of, this is b squared, minus 4ac, everything here, divided by 2 times, 2 times a. Now, the next step is to substitute the values of a, b, and c, so that we have minus 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, in this case, this is 5 squared, minus 4, times a, which is 1, times c, which is 25, everything here, divided by 2 times 1. So the next step is that we have here, this is minus 5, plus or minus the square root of 5 squared, this is 25, minus 25 times 4, which is 100, divided by 2. So this means that here we have minus 5, plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 100, this is minus 75, everything here, divided by 2. So this implies that here we have minus 5 plus or minus, we can express the square root of minus 75. This is the same thing as 25, multiplied by 3, multiplied by minus 1, everything here, divided by 2. Therefore, here we have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 25, this is 5, the square root of minus 1, this is i, then we have square root of 3, everything here divided by 2. So in other words, here we have two complex solutions. We have two complex solutions here. That is x2, this is equal to minus 5, plus 5i square root of 3, divided by 2. Then we have x3 here which is actually equal to minus 5, subtract 5i square root of 3, everything here divided by 2. Now, let's proceed to case 2 from here. Now, in case 2, we have that x plus 5 raised to the power of 3, subtract 5 to the power of 3, this is equal to 0. Now you find that this equation here, this is the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, which we can express as a minus b. Then here we have a squared plus ab, then plus b to the power of 2. Applying this identity, then we have that this is the same thing as x plus 5, subtract 5. Then here we have x plus 5 raised to the power of 2, then plus 5, multiplied by x plus 5, then plus 5 squared, which is 25, then this is equal to, to 0. Now, here we have 5, we have x plus, this is 5 minus 5, which is, which simplifies here, so we have x here into the parenthesis, this is x plus 5 to the power of 2, which we can express as x squared, then plus 10x, then plus 5 squared, which is 25, then plus 5 times x, which is 5x, then plus 5 times 5, which is 25, then plus 25, this is equal to, to 0. Now, we have x into the parenthesis. This is x squared. Now, we have 10x plus 5x. This is 15x. Then we have 25 plus 25. This is 50. 50 plus 25. This is plus 75. This is equal to 0. Now, we have two parts here. We have that x 
we can call this x4 this is equal to 0 and we have that x squared plus 15x plus 75 this is equal to 0 so x4 is equal to 0 we can solve for x5 and x6 from this quadratic equation from this quadratic equation we have that a is equal to 1 b is equal to 15 and that c is equal to 75 now given that the value of a is equal to 1 b is equal to 15 and c is equal to 75 we can solve for the value of x5 comma x6 by applying the quadratic formula here which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac everything here divided by 2 times times a substituting the values of a b and c here we have minus 15 plus or minus the square root of 15 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 75 everything here divided by 2 times 1 so here we have minus 15 plus or minus the square root of 15 squared this is 225 subtract 75 times 4 which is 300 divided by 2 so that now here we have minus 15 plus or minus the square root of 225 minus 300 this is minus 75 everything here divided by 2 so therefore here we have minus 15 plus or minus we can express the square root of minus 75 as the square root of this is 25 multiplied by 3 multiplied by minus 1 everything here divided by 2 so this implies that here we have minus 15 plus or minus the square root of 25 this is 5 the square root of minus 1 this is i then square root of 3 everything here divided by 2 so you find that x5 is equal to minus 15 plus 5i square root of 3 divided by 2 and we have that x6 this is equal to minus 15 subtract 5i square root of 3 divided by 2 so these are two complex solutions these are two complex solutions under case 2 so this concludes that we have six solutions here we have six solutions now this implies we have six solutions here we have that x1 is equal to minus 10 x2 comma x3 this is equal to minus 5 plus or minus this is 5i square root of 3 divided by divided by 2 and we have that x4 this is equal to 0 and we have that x5 comma x6 this is equal to this is minus 15 plus or minus we have 5i square root of 3 everything here divided by 2 so this means that these are two complex solutions here we also have two complex solutions here totaling to four we have four complex solutions and only two real solutions here so kindly follow the steps like this video and kindly subscribe please like this video and kindly subscribe see you in the next video